And we are live. All right, guys, I'm trying to boot into BIOS for the first time. I haven't been able to get past level 65 in my debug LED yet, but I moved my RAM slots from the first slot into the motherboard recommended slot. So let's see if that makes a difference and get into BIOS for the first time. Okay. All right, I got past 65, that's good. Okay, let's go. Oh, wait, we have life on the monitor. There we go. Okay. Woo, first time into BIOS. It's like a child's first steps. It's like your baby's first steps. Uh, okay, good. Now I'm going to show you all the steps of how I set up my operating system. CPU fan error. Uh, that's kind of expected. Because, no, oh, wait, I have that fan plugged into the CPU fan header. Um... I'm not going to leave the system like this for very long because I do have to drain my loop and compress my fittings a little bit better because I am leaking. Uh, where am I leaking? I have like one drop a minute from the pump out. So I have to get that fitting a little bit tighter. Um, keyboard is not... Wait, yeah, keyboard is plugged in. I'm going to press F1. There we go. Oh, beautiful. Is my mouse plugged in? Okay, there we go. Asus Optimal, uh, XMP, Standard, Silent, Turbo, Silent, Manual, uh, whatever. I'm just going to leave that there. Uh, boot order. The Asus drive has the bootable OS. Okay. Um, this should, oh wait, um, I just uh, changed the boot order so it should boot into the OS on the DVD drive. Yay, Windows, Windows is alive. Okay, so it started spinning. And yeah, all you had to do is follow the instructions and set up your operating system. Okay, thank you for bearing with me through my baby's first steps, and I will see you next video.